In the final months of his life, Leon Britton was not just battling cancer, but rumour and accusations he had presided over a paedophile ring at the heart of Westminster. In the 1980s, Lord Britton was Home Secretary and served in the Cabinet with Lord Deben, who's on the right here, and was then known as John Gummer. Today, Lord Deben told me his lifelong friend had been appalled by the speculation. Well, he was remarkably brave and uh, it wasn't a subject which one talked about because he had to carry it and he carried it with great dignity. Uh, he knew that his friends knew that there was no truth in it uh, and that was very important. Um, I just would have liked him to be relieved of the pain towards the end of his life, that's all. Lord Britain was never arrested, let alone charged. He died not knowing the police had dropped the investigation into rape claims. Do you think it had an impact on his health? Well, you can never say that, can you? Um, I think it had an impact on his personal life in the sense that he was deeply appalled by it. Labour's deputy leader, Tom Watson, has led the campaign for prosecutions and earlier this week refused to back down. We provided, presided over a state of affairs where children have been abused and then ignored dismissed and then disdained. If anyone deserves an apology, it's them. Yeah. Tory MPs cried shame. Mr Watson would not comment today, but will be appearing before a parliamentary committee next week. Um, I, would like, I would like Tom Watson to be big enough to say I was wrong and I should have done it differently, and I'm sorry. That's a simple thing for a big man to do. The Metropolitan Police has apologised for the delay in telling Lord Britain's family that the investigation had been dropped. They allowed him to die uh, without releasing him of that awful claim. You know, if you've been a public servant for the length of time that he was, if you've been a man of decency like he was, that sort of allegation is horrific. He died not knowing that detectives had shelved the main allegation. Lord Britain's friends are determined he should be remembered for his achievements and not for rumours and lies.